Our growing calls for an independent review of Canada's handling of the pandemic. Experts from 13 organizations, including doctors and nurses and researchers, say an independent inquiry into Canada's COVID-19 response is needed to start preparing for the next emergency. Uh, a number of shortfalls have been identified, including difficulty reaching vulnerable and marginalized populations and the catastrophic deaths in long-term care homes, as well as inconsistent public health messages across province and territories. With me now to discuss is Isaac Bogotch. He's an infectious disease specialist. Uh, Dr. Bogotch, hello. Good to see you again. So the British Medical Journal is recommending that Canada hold a national inquiry on COVID. Do you think that there is value in this? Oh, absolutely. I mean, it has to take a certain form. I'm not sure if a, uh, a public inquiry is the correct form, but there has to be an objective, uh, systematic, comprehensive review on our pandemic response and really have a fair assessment in terms of what we did well and where we need to improve upon. And, you know, there's certain obvious areas where we, we clearly needed to improve upon. We saw the horrific scenes unfold in our long-term care sector during the first and second wave. We saw difficulty accessing personal protective equipment early on in the pandemic. We had to procure vaccines from uh, other parts of the world so that Canadians could have access to it. So th there certainly is a lot that we need to uh, improve upon. And we know there's going to be another pandemic. What's unclear is what will the organism be and when will it be? But of course, pandemics have been happening uh, since the dawn of time. So it, it's very important to do this and it's very important so that we can prepare for other infectious disease outbreaks. Yet there are others who are going to say we don't need um, some big expensive study. We know what happens with reports. They often um, get a lot of attention and then they're shelved and nothing really changes, Dr. Bogotch. Well, I'd remind people of the what's often referred to as the Naylor Report in 2003 after SARS, uh, SARS the SARS outbreak in uh, in Toronto, and uh, you know that was a pretty comprehensive report, and there were meaningful, tangible changes that really did protect Canadians following that report. I think the real issue is fatigue, and it's fatigue on behalf of those who perhaps are involved with uh, creating and maintaining budgets, because you know this isn't something that's a one and done event. You don't just invest in infrastructure and walk away. This is a, a, a constant investment that uh, is going, can be used over time to really invest in public health and early preparedness and manufacturing uh, and really ensuring that uh, we, we have robust systems in place to truly protect Canadians from infectious diseases outbreaks, which we know is going to happen again. Uh, and the key issue here is not crossing off those budget line items five or 10 years down the line when someone says, hey, look, we haven't had a pandemic in five or 10 years. What are we still paying for, you know, infectious diseases, early detection systems or surveillance systems for, you know, and of course, we know how important they really are. What about accountability? Um, and let's talk specifically about what we saw the horrors unfold in long term care homes. Do you think that there needs to be more accountability around all those people who, who lost their lives? Yeah, of course. I think that's 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 important. But also important is ensuring that something like this never happens again and really ensuring that we have systems in place and infrastructure in place to protect all Canadians, including the most vulnerable Canadians, which sadly we, we abandoned. I mean, this we saw the absolute horrific scenes come play out in the long term care uh, facilities, not just in the first wave, but also in the second wave. Uh, thousands and thousands of deaths, uh, and and a lot of that could have been prevented because you know even years and years before the pandemic, we knew this was a very vulnerable area. We knew that this was prone to infectious disease outbreaks, and in fact, we deal with influenza outbreaks every year in that sector. And there were tangible changes that could have been made that that sadly were not, and we paid dearly for that. So, yes, accountability is important, but also important is ensuring that something like this never happens again. Dr. Bogotch, thanks so much. Good to see you again. Good to see you as well.